Spike, what are your general rules for raising money for films? I mean, what do you advise your NYU students when the subject comes up? What kind of guidance do you provide them? Well, I've been teaching at NYU for the past 15 years, and uh, the issue is whether you're in film school or not film school, where you get the money to shoot, where you get the money to for completion, to finish your film. And I tell people, you just have to be inventive and you gotta look under every nook and cranny to get it done. There's not, there's not, there's nothing I could tell somebody that's gonna be like the golden trail and you're gonna find a pot of gold. And, you know, at, at the end, it's, that's just not the way this industry works. So there's no set roadmap, but I'm wondering, is there a certain mindset? Are there certain characteristics, whether they're temperament, whatever, that you tell someone? Um, well, I think that when you want to, when you're looking for money, you have to have, a, you have to be tough, tough as nails and not be uh, deterred by no's. All it takes is that one person, that one grant, that one scholarship, you know, money can show up and fall out of the sky sometimes. I mean, that's not the, something that, that you have to wait for. One of my, one of my own most favorite quotes is by Brooklyn Dodger owner Branch Rickey who signed Jackie Robinson. And the quote is this, Luck is a residue of design. So, if you're working and busting your ass, you have a better chance of luck smiling down upon you. But you're just chilling and not extending any injury, excuse me, not extending any energy, no get it from go, and you're not we're not seeing that elbow grease. We're not seeing initiative. We're not seeing that blood, sweat, and tears. Very rarely will you find yourself in a lucky situation. Speaking of which. But you, but you can't depend on luck, though. You can't depend on luck. I've been very lucky. Uh, be honest, when I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker, there was only one African American director working in Hollywood. His name was Michael Schultz, director of one of my favorite films, Cooley High. And so when I would tell my African American friends, you know, they're like, do black people, they let black people direct films? And so I never ever thought about the odds. A lot of times you think about stuff like that, it could be a self-inflicted paralysis. But uh, I knew what I wanted to do. And I was uh, committed that through hard work, God willing, something will break my way. And it happened. 